Hey everybody, it's Alma. Welcome back to Keto Meets Menopause. Hey, hey, hey. It's Alma. Today is, what is it? I don't know. Today is Monday the 18th. A belated happy Father's Day to everybody out there. If it's the 18th, that means we are 18 days into our challenge for no sugar. Well, we are having stevia, monk fruit, and erythritol. And guys, it's easier than I thought it would be. I think I've cheated twice with gum, and that's because I didn't have my gum with me, my bad. In order to protect the nostrils of those around me, I opted to use some other gum. <laughs> and believe me, you guys know what I'm talking about. Sometimes that keto breath gets intense. So yeah, I uh, chewed some gum on two occasions where I wasn't prepared. And gosh, let me tell you, keto is all about being prepared, guys. If you try to just kind of do it by the skin of your teeth, it makes it a little bit harder. Really, your meal planning, your grocery shopping, all of that is critical. So I think I'm about four pounds down still on my scale. I didn't get on it this morning. You know why? It happened again. So this is when the music from Jaws comes in where it's doo 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 doo, -doo. yeah. Here. Guys, I, I don't know if I have changed one vice for another, but this happened. Second time now, guys. It's so weird because it's an actual craving for these sunflower seeds. Maybe there's something in my body that is needing extra potassium. I, I, I don't know. I think, as I said, planning is key. I think maybe what I need to be doing is if I buy these, because I don't want to feel like I'm not allowed to have sunflower seeds and maybe that's why I'm binging because I'm like, oh, I shouldn't be eating them, I shouldn't be eating them. I shouldn't be eating them because number one, I have Crohn's disease and it hurts my tummy. So I think maybe what I need to do is buy this, get snack bags, put three quarters of a cup in each bag and have it ready to go. That's part of planning because I know that if you just give me the bag, I will sit here and do this nonstop. I could out spit, out chew anybody in Major League baseball. They ain't got nothing on me when it comes to sunflower seeds. It's crazy. I'm sure at those moments I make David very proud. Such a lady. <laughs> Not. All right. So yeah. So what's been going on with you guys? Sandy from Sandy's Losing It has talked about the fact that her husband kind of did a day of sabotage, but it was really sweet. It was a very sweet treat that he got for her and it was from the heart. So she had it and I don't blame her. It, it was a day and I know that she did something else later in the day. I uh, can't remember what that was, but she did say that she kind of felt like maybe her challenge was ending that day. I don't think she's commented since, but I'm behind on videos, so I'll have to find out. And then she's also had a recent scare with her pup, so I know that she's going through a lot right now. So prayers to your pup, Sandy. And then Deborah, Deborah has a blog spot, guys. I don't know if you guys know about that. I think the title is, it's my, it's my gut reaction, or just a gut reaction. I can't remember it, Deborah. You know I have a menopausal mind, sweetheart. But I will put a link to Deborah's blog spot in my description. Check her out. She is an extremely gifted, creative, funny writer. Check her out, guys. And she follows the ketogenic way of eating as well. I keep telling her she needs to start a channel. Oh, and then Seattle Sapphire. She's been here in Austin. Well, I'm not in Austin, but I'm literally like two blocks from the, from the city limit. But um, yeah, she was here at, at KetoCon. I didn't go, I'm sorry guys. You know, it's just 400 bucks to go. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. And so if you can afford that in your budget, that's great. You know, I still have a kid college right now. And so, and you guys know I'm usually on a budget. So um, I wish I could have hooked up with some of you guys. I didn't know that Keto Connect had a book signing party. I'm just so out of the loop right now. I've had so much going on at the house. So back to Seattle Sapphire. She showed something on her video that I didn't know existed. Um, she showed a Zevia grape soda. Oh my goodness. I think I'm going to have to put that on my grocery shopping list today. I really do. Um, so tell me guys, what have you found since you started this journey? What have you found that you really enjoy that is a stevia or erythritol based product or monk fruit based product? I will tell you that I purchased um, a maple syrup that is so delicious. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So good. Um, and it's the, the Lancanto. Is that the brand? Um, so that I really enjoy. Um, what else? Uh, David loves the um, caramel 
from the sweet leaf. He loves that in his coffee. He, so guys, I've got a lot of neat things coming up this week in recipes. Oh my gosh, a lot of neat things. Two sweet treats uh, that are based on stevia. I told you guys that David has a sweet tooth and by having these things in the house for him, it actually does help him stay on plan. So David had gone off the keto wagon for quite some time now, and I think he's like two pounds away from gold now. So he lost uh, about eight pounds. He's pretty much following me as far as not doing the artificial sweeteners right now. Uh, so that's kind of cool. And that he supports our keto way of eating, and he's now realizing even more than ever that it really is a better lifestyle. And I will say that it is a better lifestyle than the standard American diet, but I do think the standard American diet gets uh, the short end of the stick. And uh, let me just explain why, guys. Uh, if I say that I followed the standard American diet in the past, it'd be a flat out lie. I followed the whatever's quick and easy today. I didn't follow the, the percentages. I think it's really easy to throw out there that the standard American diet is horrible. Um, but what it is, is our interpretation of the standard American diet is horrible. Uh, yeah, I don't think they mean that bread servings are french fries and a burger from McDonald's. And uh, telling you, there's days where I did that back in my previous life. All right, so enough of that, jibber jabber. Now I sound like Headbangers Kitchen. <laughs> enough of that wonky talk. And uh, let's get back to our stevia challenge. Let's finish these next 12 days with gusto and fewer sunflower seeds. Um, I look forward to hearing about your successes. And I also look forward to following this protocol with you in the month of July as well. All right, guys, let me know who's in for the month of July. Who thinks that their life is permanently changed based on giving it up for a month. All right, have a blessed day, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for allowing me to spend time with you. If you haven't already done so, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification button so that you'll know each time I post a new video. All right, guys, have a great day. Bye-bye. Choice Wednesday, it's Onito. Now here's my wife to teach us keto. Pork rinds, pork rinds, rah, rah, rah. Carbohydrates, carbohydrates, blah, blah, blah.